Hebrews 11 1 is not the definition of faith. See Bible. First Timothy does me now. See Bible now. See, 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 see. Look, look, look at this thing. You see him. You see him. My wife said he does me. That's to tell you that this is not a joke anymore. Hebrews 11 1. Look at it. Put Hebrews 11 1. That is not the definition of faith. <laughs> now, faith is the substance of things so far. The evidence of things not seen. Now, American turn on to definition. American preachers, now they turn on to definition. It's not definition. There is no definition of faith. You see, when Hebrews was written, the book of Hebrews was written, there was no chapter and verse. So it was, they were not, no part of it was segmented. It's a straight statement, letter. I don't know when you're writing letter to me, you don't do chapter one, letter, chapter two. If myself, I will be one big kilo share. So, when Hebrews was written, if you look from chapter 10, verse 1, imagine that there's no chapter. So imagine that there's no chapter, there's no chapter. Go back to chapter 10, verse 1. Watch this. Look, for the Lord having a shadow of good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices which they offer year by year, continually make the dear, uh, commas, they are unto perfect. So it's not a letter, it's not a chapter, it's writing to them to define faith. No. Every year, they used to bring animal to sacrifice for them to overcome the next one year. So, and the Bible said, those things they bring every year never was able to help them. That's why they keep bringing different animals every year. So, he's telling them, look, stop bringing animal. Verse 2. That's what he's saying. Don't go and buy animal again. Verse 2. Verse 2. He said, for then would they have ceased to be offered because that the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins. He said the animals they were bringing could not enter in and purge their conscience. They are always still remembering what they have done wrong. Where they failed. How their destiny is going to be hindered. Uh -huh. Are you seeing what, what the Bible is saying? He said, so stop bringing the animal. Forget, God has passed that level. He does not ask for animal again. He said, so what do we bring now? He said, God has given his own animal. His own animal is Jesus. He said, so let me tell you. Swap Jesus by faith now. As the substance of what you hope to go and bring, which is the animal. It's not defining faith. Amen. In the name of Jesus. It's not defining faith. He said, okay, since you are used to bringing something, don't bring anything. Swap it by faith. Use faith to think in your mind and bring you something. But what you are bringing now is Jesus Christ. By faith, behave as if you are still carrying that goat. But this goat now is Jesus Christ. Because he is the evidence of things. Not sin. The animal you are not. You know you want to bring animal now. So what is the definition of faith? That's, you see him now? You see him? <laughs> Let's close here. <laughs> what are you talking about? Now, faith is the it's Americans that taught Nigerians that verse. Yes. Now them teach everybody that. One day I was in the bathroom. The Lord said, let me tell you. He said, faith is not defined in Hebrews 11. I said, eh? And so do my body. I said, let me go and check. <laughs> he said, read from chapter 10. You will see. And it's very clear. He's trying to tell them, substitute. 
behave as if you are carrying that gold. So you are carrying the gold by faith. Yes. You are carrying the gold you are not seeing. Whatever is not there, go to Jesus by faith as though the thing is there. The thing likes it or not, Jesus will become it for you. What is faith? Faith is a person. And his name is Jesus. <laughs> why he said when you believe the gospel when you believe the gospel faith will be given to you don't you understand you don't faith the gospel you believe you agree then faith will be given to you watch this go back to Romans chapter 10 verse 16 everybody watch Quickly, Romans 10. Ooh, Shabbadayaga. May God send us ministers to talk us to tell us about Jesus. And you are here. We're going to shake this earth. Just by preaching Jesus. 